the I'll be happy when. Okay. So, so many of us live that life mm -hmm. and we've been trained to. And the reason why we've been trained to is because if you think about school, you born your home and then we go to kindergarten and then you go to first grade and then you go to second grade and then you go to third grade and then you go to fourth grade and then you go to fifth grade and then you go to middle school and then you go to high school and then there's the pressure to go to college or to a tech school or to do something else and then you get your job and then you're in your job and then you meet somebody and then you get married and then you're supposed to buy the house and then you're supposed to have the kids and maybe you get the dog before the kids or after the kids but then you have a second kid and then you have the 0.5 kid because most of us do 2.5 kids <laughs> and then point. we get and then we get the the home equity line and then we put the kitchen addition on and then we I mean it's like our entire lives are set out in this linear progression as people chase the dream the next yeah and particularly for those of us who are triggered by the fear of losing control it's only natural to anchor your feeling of being in control to chasing the next thing. Mm -hmm. And so not only are we all socialized to believe that we're supposed to climb this ladder, we're supposed to do things in a linear progression, we're supposed to um, get to the next thing. Yeah. We've also been marketed to by society that will be happier if we have a new car. We'll be happier if we have a better dishwasher. We'll be happier if we have the skin lotion that's got the almond scent. And we're also psychologically anchoring our sense of control and our sense of happiness on achieving those things. And what you're experiencing is no different than what millions and millions and millions of us experience. And that's that emptiness that you feel when you buy the lotion mm -hmm. that smells like almond butter mm -hmm. and it doesn't make you happy right. or you get the promotion and you have an extra hundred bucks in your paycheck after taxes and it means you can buy the $14 Chardonnay not the $10 Chardonnay and it doesn't make you happy right. and the reason why is the I'll be happy when life, the chase the carrot life, the get to the next thing life, that form of happiness requires you to be driving, let's use the car analogy again, to be going 60 miles an hour at all times. And happiness is achieved through a different formula. Mm -hmm. It happens when you're sitting at the light and you're idle. When you're in the moment doing things that make you happy and that's being with people that you care about it's engaging in experiences that make you happy and it's working on things that are important to you audible originals presents take control of your life how to silence fear and win the mental game created and narrated by mel robbins that's me